friends welcome back or welcome to our channel it's serena from the falco family and last time we shared our ninth grade curriculum picks and this time i'm going to share a few curriculum choices that we made for our seventh grader we're starting off with Bible time because that's how we begin our day. I've basically gotten them all this pocket size Bible and he will be using it for scripture studies. Usually we study scriptures by using note cards or his copy work on plain paper. But this time around, I thought he could add those cards to this Bible or use tabs to bookmark scriptures. It'll be very easy for them to put it in their book bags and carry along with them to youth services. So that's one of the things that we started his Bible studies off with. Then there is devotionals. This time around, he's reading Roar Like a Lion. I love devotions. It's a great way for him to start off his quiet time with the Lord and also a great way for him to build up his prayer life using the scriptures. Um, there are so many children's devotionals that include great information for growing their knowledge little bit by little bit. Um, the next one that he has after he finishes Roar the devotional is Catch a Better Life. Oftentimes, you can find ones that speak to things that they are interested in. So my bear loves fishing and wants to fish more. So this devotional would be a perfect addition to his stack. Next, I have the Biggest Story curriculum. And I actually purchased pretty much all of the pieces to this curriculum in hopes of breaking it apart and using it for different kids. So in this case, I have the coloring and activity book to give him something to put his hands to as he listens to me read or as he's listening to one of the videos. It's just a great little addition to the curriculum. And also what's included in the curriculum are these five book studies starting from the Pentateuch, moving on to the history books and poetry and prophets, uh, then on to the Gospels and the Epistles and Revelations. These books break down the lessons, making it really easy for me to pick and choose the things that we want to use. Uh, it's super flexible. It also goes along with, um, it has videos that go along with the lessons and the Bible if you choose to. But in his case, I decided to use the actual curriculum books for us to work through the story um, the Bible story from cover to cover. And I don't know, it's just been a great addition to their Bible studies as he gets to really review how the Bible is broken down. Uh, next up, we're moving on to history studies for my seventh grader. We're really focusing in on the government and the United States Constitution. But what we are beginning with in this series is somewhat of a graphic novel study. Uh, I really like the graphic novel adaptations of a lot of the biographies, um, historical biographies. So I just kind of grab whichever ones I can get my hands on. In this case, um, there is the Gettysburg Address, Across the Tracks, Remembering Greenwood and Black Wall Street. I love that it has timelines in it that can be explored. It also has awesome pictures with my seventh grader. Uh, he really is into animations and so this is just speaking his language for sure just having him go and read them a couple times and tagging them with post-it notes he goes back through and does summaries using our printables it's been a really great way for him to explore different people and timelines and history and keep moving along in his studies now, the illustrations and pull him into the stories and help him add more excitement to his research materials. Really diving into They Called Us Enemy gave us a lot of insight that, of course, he hadn't had before on American concentration camps uh, during World War II, democracy, the office of the presidency, and exploring multicultural America. The three book edition of March walking him through Congressman John Lewis's fight for civil and human rights, exploring segregated schoolrooms and sit-ins to the March on Washington. I think that the raw feel that graphic illustrations give add to the depth of the historical accounts. 
The Life of Frederick Douglass chronicles his escape from slavery and rise as an activist and public speaker and abolitionist. It includes his writings from the narrative of Frederick Douglass and other speeches. I mean, it's packed full of information and making it more exciting to explore for him. Another one is The Faithful Spy. This is the story of Diedrich Bonhoeffer and Hitler. So many things we were able to discuss and then turn into think pieces and essays. Moving on to the spine that we're using for American government and constitution studies. I have the infographic guide to American government and I like the way that these are laid out this series. Uh, they're nice and simple, easy for him to follow along, provide a great outline for him in studying and researching different elements of our American government and the Constitution. Federalist versus Anti-Federalist, Checks and Balances, Electoral College, National Security, Civil Service, Lobbyist, and more. I also grabbed the Interactive Constitution, just a really cool book that provides a nice spine and outline for his research and studies, a fun way for him to get started and easy for him to expand upon. So we have the preamble, a great way to learn those pieces of our government and constitution. It breaks down the different branches of government. It really has tons of information starters. We've gone through and created cards to help him study along the way. Outlining the branches of government, the powers of Congress, exploring the Capitol, the making of laws, the Oval Office and presidential cabinet, the Supreme Court, landmark cases, amending the constitution, and more. <laughs> a nice addition to our Constitution collection. And then I have Forgotten Fathers, Black Patriots, Women, Soldiers, and Other Thinkers and Heroes Who Shaped Early America. I really like this book. Uh, Starting with a brief introduction to the Revolutionary War, the French and Indian War, and the First and Second Continental Congress. They cover James Armistead Lafayette, Nancy Hart, Kofi Wells Sanders, Anna Smith Strong, Phyllis Wheatley, Betsy Ross, Crispus Attucks, and so much more. Now on to science. For science, for my seventh grader, we're just keeping along with Apologia across the board. Pretty much, he is using general science um, as far as learning the bells and whistles and bits and pieces of notebooking. It's a very easy way to follow along learning to notebook and note take without being too complicated and they have been enjoying it thus far. It's very easy for me to pick and choose which things we'd like to gloss over um, or spend more time on or eliminate altogether. He has had no trouble working independently through experiments and growing in his lab reporting skills. I made sure to collect as many of the items he would need throughout the year to conduct experiments. He also adds in a Generation Genius lab kit from time to time that he does with his sister. Um, I didn't include it here because they have since been con discontinued. Uh, for maths, we have decided to go with Spectrum Math. It's one of his stronger points. I just wanted to see kind of where he is and how easy it is or challenging it might be for him to get through the subject matter. Uh, it Mm, I just grabbed different areas of math that he could work on each week in rotation. So I have a general math seven uh, that he's working his way through. They are talking frequency, tables, probability, all of that just basic math, subject matter. Uh, then I have geometry six through eight. Of course, they are going through perimeter area, all of those. And then we have word problems, book working word problem book working his way through writing expressions adding subtracting multiplying and dividing integers variables surface area cylinders um, then we move on to critical thinking for math seven i love that he has the answer keys in the back allowing him the freedom to check his own work and provide hints to work his way through problems he might find himself stuck on Lastly, he has algebra so that he is giving time and attention to building skills within each discipline throughout his week. 
Um, my hope for him is that he might actually jump into algebra studies along with his brother as they thrived um, in their earlier years of math studies. And I think that they will be a tremendous help to one another moving forward if they continue on working together. So um, that's really my goal for him. Nate. So the last two resources I've been using somewhat as core curriculum, DK's Help Your Child With Study Skills, we are using as a main source of a spine or a curriculum um, to really start to establish those study skills that are going to help him uh, grow and learn in an effective manner. And then I have uh, Spanish. For Spanish, we are using the Littner system to increase in our Spanish vocabulary. Uh, we are working on sets of 500 uh, at a time. And yeah, that concludes my seventh graders curriculum picks. Thanks for watching. I am going to be sharing, lastly, my fifth grade curriculum choices in the next one. Um, and I hope to see you in the next video.